different team this time around with the way Dan Hyden's been playing in the second half of the season. How much more dangerous does he make them now? Really dangerous, you know. Uh, obviously, that top line, but the whole team, you know, they're they're defensemen, very offensive minded. You know, they're six one and three in their last ten. They're they're, they're playing well, and uh, again, we got to make sure that we remember that and try to do the things we did when we uh, we played them here. It's been a while since you guys have swept Denver in Denver. I mean, what makes it tough to play there on the road? Uh, you know, I, just you know, every year they're a good team. They, they're a top end team every year, and so. Um, you know, you're playing in their rink. They get last change. Uh, you know, they're they're they got a good fan support, good base of, of fans with that supports their team. Uh, you know, it's no different than going on on a road anywhere else in the NCHC here. So again, like I said, never mind uh, looking past uh, Friday. We got to make sure we're ready for Friday and, and take one game at a time here. This is a series a lot of a lot of fans look forward to. Uh, it's kind of evolved into one of, if not the best rivalry within the NCHC. What, what have you seen over the years from your perspective that has uh, led to that? Well, I think the intensity of the series, uh, you know, obviously going back to when George Gwazdecki coached the uh, the team, uh, you know, there was a uh, an immediate rivalry there uh, that goes back to the WCHA days, and it's carried over in the NCHC here. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's special in the fact that you have very two very good teams every year playing against each other that – that have a have a mindset, and uh, again, it uh, it's going to be no different this weekend uh, going into Denver. We know what we're we're facing, and we've been preparing all week for it. Was the bye week productive for you guys? Yeah, absolutely. I think first of all, uh, you know what we got out of it was you know a chance to get healthy, uh, you know get get everybody available back into our lineup and and, and get some freshness uh, going into this week. Uh, we did work on some system work last week that we needed to polish up on in a few different areas, and then uh, obviously with getting the bodies back this week, getting uh, getting recharged and ready to go and to face a uh, a very strong Denver team. How's the health of the team right now in terms of injuries? Are there? Full, everybody at full strength coming in here? Yeah, we're a 27-man roster and everybody's available. Uh, we, we get to carry 23 players, uh, so we'll carry 23 of the 27. Charles Setcher's been had a, a great season so far. And why, why, what makes him a productive two-way defender? Uh, I think the, the one underlying factor, and there's a lot, but the one major ingredient that he has is compete. His compete is off the charts and again it permeates through our, our our lineup as far as the way he plays uh, he's a leader on and off the ice he prepares himself and uh, you, you get his a game every game I, I can't count on probably one hand uh, through his career here of how many subpar games he's had he's, he's been at the best every time he steps on the ice and that just tells you about his character what's it like playing in Denver when it's kind of almost like a home game at times with how many fans you guys have there it seems weird uh, it's not weird to me uh, I rather like that but uh, um, I think it goes to the culture that we have the the uh, the tradition and history that we not only have with players and, and teams from year to year but our fan support and and, and our alumni group and, and the, not only the people that live in Denver but the people that travel from here to go watch the games and uh, it says about our strong uh, support within our group and within our culture and again it's uh, it's very, very evident in Denver, but it's also in different places where we go on the road. It's going to be nice to see uh, Nick and, and, and those guys, those guys that were out for the couple series straight. Nice to see those guys back. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, you know, it's always nice to have uh, you know those players back in your lineup, and uh, you know they, they've done such a great job uh, through the first half of the year. You know, now obviously uh, they'll be a major focus for the opposition going forward. You know, they're back in the lineup. That group is together. You know, they're going to be a a target as far as trying to shut down. And again, that's why you know going through the last two or three weeks, it was very important for other players like Pagansky and Johnson to step up. And, and we need that. We we need depth uh, through the rest of the year. And I think it. Uh, you know, there were some positives with having guys out of the lineup that other guys have stepped up. When you think of Mark Pullman, what uh, comes to mind for you about him? Mark Pullman? A guy that can do it all. He can, uh, he, you know, I, I, the relationship going back with him over the years, he's a guy that that never says no to anything. Like he, whenever a, a job comes up or something to do, he's the first one to do it. Um, he brings passion. He's such a positive guy. Um, our guys love him. You know, uh, when you think of him doing the strength side of it, the medical side of it, he does a great job on both, which is a lot of work, and our guys respect him. And again, I don't think I'd, I'd put it this way. Um, 
uh, we're glad we have him. And again, we want to keep him around for a long time because he's such a positive uh, influence in our group. Is there a chance we're going to see um, Tomac make his debut sometime in the future? Um, yeah, sometimes, sometime in the future, probably in the future here. The, the one thing right now is like, uh, you know, Cam has done such a great job here and, uh, you know, we're going to let him uh, go here for a little bit and, you know, uh, we'll need uh, Matei at some point in time and he'll get an opportunity. But like I said, uh, Cam's done a great job so far. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.